First of all, I wanted to thank you all for watching my last Microworld video. It got 264 views, but I only got 32 subscribers. If only those who had viewed it subscribed to my channel will be a fast growing YouTube channel. And I want to thank you for my first two comments on my first video to keep up my content. Yeah, it's great. Thank you, Don Dejude Ortiz and Yannick Julian for more Microworld video. Yeah, I'm making this, guys for you. Man, that intro is very nice. Now, a welcome to, to Barakai with a grotto. And, uh, yeah, how do you pronounce that? Grotto. Thank you, Google. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a picture here. It's an aerial view of the Barakai Grotto. And that's gonna go down to the opacity so that I can see the adjustment that I wanted to do with with the island. And there you go. Uh, yeah, just a little more adjustments and just go back to the opacity. And then unsee that image and go to polygonal lasso tool. Just gonna trace each top corners of the square. Yeah. You go in each side, click on those sides so that you can trace the flat uh, square space on that. And then un unsee that again and then click the mask button and you have that effect. And then go, go to the brush. Yeah. And then it should be uh, black, as uh, white as your color. And then paint it over so that you can reveal some deleted spaces over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna take care of uh, that tree because that tree is very awesome that is very iconic in this place those trees I think there are uh, three trees over here uh, one is uh, this the coconut tree yeah <laughs> only trees living in this uh, particular small small grotto island yeah and then there's the there's the grotto yeah, I'm just gonna delete all with all that part and then we're going to zoom it in and just going to delete uh, those parts yeah those little parts I'm just going to share you some of that because uh, you know this is uh, very hard this is very time-consuming in my video so I decided to yeah I'm just going to fast forward it until then until I finish it yeah there we go it is finished then I go to the sand go to the sand yeah and then I'm going to place it in the in the edges of uh, my micro world and then there you go you skew that to put them in place and then to finally put it in place go to distort just right click on that and go to distort and then place it wherever you want it yeah the dogs are barking again because it's night here and I'm recording dogs are barking everywhere because uh, yeah so I'm just going to place that uh, yeah just a little more adjustment and then there you go I think that's good and then I go to my sand layer again and gonna grab a copy and that and gonna drag it again over there I'm gonna select these two so gonna drag them under the, the table yeah I'm just going to get some adjustments go to skew and then adjust those adjust the sand and then yeah I'm just gonna resize it and then I will go to distort I'm just going to place that wherever I want it yeah just uh, I'm sorry for the dogs man I'm just going to place it on uh, on the side on the corners to which I wanted it yeah it is uh, very cool that that is how I roll yeah just gonna label it and then what I'm going to do is going to delete some part here just go to the eraser yeah I'm gonna delete some sand over here so this creates an illusion that uh, in the edges you can see how deep it is so in that uh, upper part it is uh, not very deep over there and it's uh, gradually going deep into the blue of this ocean of the, of the sea so I'm going to delete those parts yeah just going deeper and deeper and deeper yeah I think I need I need more deeper yeah I'm just gonna delete again gonna make it look more deeper and yeah that is finesse baby 
and then what are we going to do is go to the sand again so that we can have a little sand on the on the platform is going to uh, make the right shape of that sand just gonna resize it uh, this sand is, is going by the way on under both both of the sand of the edges now you can see that the fourth layer below yeah then what I'm going to do is going to polygonal lasso tool again and we're going to trace that yeah just trace it uh, on the edges so that uh, it will be seen on uh, the things that uh, on the micro world that uh, which you wanted it to be seen I'm just going to drag it down my lasso tool and then yeah just go to those edges ah, this is very zoomed in yeah I'm going to just going to mid them in the middle and there you go and then see it and then make a mask on it just click on the mask and there you have it yeah uh, you see I, I just didn't see that just gonna apply some exposure uh, yeah on the on that side and gonna apply some exposure again here just going to click alt and then click the layer and which uh, the layer that you wanted that, that the effect is going to affect it then you can see the sand underneath behind those behind those uh, edges sand edges yeah that that is the trick man so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lasso tool again. I'm going to trace it over here because I wanted some uh, some uh, some colors of that ocean to reflect uh, in uh, in the edges. So I'm gonna drag it down near to the sand, and then we're going to do some adjustments here. Uh, this will take a while, and then I'm going to wrap. I'm just going to scale it again. I'm going to wrap it again so that it would cover the whole area of uh, of that uh, on the left side only yeah I think that is all covered and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to polygonal lasso tool again I'm gonna trace that side only yeah that side only yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna lap it over and then I'm going to meet them again in the middle yeah and then uh, unsee that and then make a mask on it and there you go that's the trick baby and what I'm going to do is go to uh, select multiply on the blending options yeah, and just go into opacity play with the opacity just uh, play with everyone but just select the multiply uh, blending option and then go to exposure so that the exposure on that side will uh, will match definitely and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna get some uh, some of it and then uh, can uh, put this uh, put this rock yeah we'll put that rock on the on the destined layer or uh, what, what, what I did on the other side of the water is uh, just still the same and then uh, yeah just uh, going to distort it again and then yeah distort it in the place that you wanted it to be just keeping all level they all should be level up yeah and uh, I think that's good I'm just gonna get some few more adjustments here yeah it's moving it's very hard <laughs> yeah. okay that seems really good now I'm going to apply some uh, this layer yeah apply, apply some exposures on that so that it will match the, the exposure of the layer and gonna do some color corrections color balances gonna make it more a little yellow for the sand I guess and a little red yeah I think that is very very good adjust the adjust the things that you wanted to adjust and then I'm going to delete to erase it uh, some part of it so that it will look like it's merging in so I'm just going to um, make it all to 100 and then I'm going to delete the top part you can see I'm deleting the top part so that it will have a clean uh, just a clean version of it I'm just gonna lower it I'm gonna paint it over the rock and you can see that wonderful effect over there yeah that looks pretty cool and that looks like a totally layered soil above the sand yeah and what I'm going to do is uh, yeah that's my next target I'm going to select another layer here 
just gonna square it up and then there you go control J so that you have a copy on that and just gonna drag it over there again and then boom and then you're going to yeah just adjust on that I'm uh, gonna gonna skew it a little and then distort it a little yeah, I'm just going to distort it just going to make sure that they are in place of uh, of the cube yeah just uh, going to adjust it yeah I think that's good and uh, just uh, gonna do the same with uh, with uh, I'm gonna add some exposures I think the exposure is just a little and then go to color balances again it's just gonna apply it make him look similar with the sand and then what I'm going to do is it's the same with the with the other one just going to delete some part of it just gonna erase it yeah I'm gonna erase I'm gonna put it to 100 and then get delete the top part yeah and then I'm uh, gonna lower the opacity and then uh, paint it over so that it will look like it's merging into the sand yeah that's a very very cool effect you're just gonna have to remember that one and then I've got the surfer yeah I, I've already uh, uh, get his background uh, it is uh, what you call standing stand up kayaking I think that's the right term on that is gonna put it just gonna scale it in, into the right size that I guess and I think that is good yeah I'm just gonna apply some exposures oh yeah I'm just gonna click alt and then there you go gonna make it more a little darker because uh, it is its shadow that is the shadow I'm just going to go to image adjustments and going to invert it and there you go just gonna paint on that make sure it is white paint on that man that it looks like it is his shadow because the shadow is coming on the front on the right side the sun is going um, the sun is from the right side so that the so therefore the left side is the shadow part so on the left side is the there is where all the shadows is going but hey you look my image is uh, it's kind of blooper it has a duplicated shadow so what I'm going to do is gonna brush on that gonna select the color that the board and just gonna paint on that so that I can delete the shadow of the man yeah so that it will appear like it is only one shadow <laughs> yeah I think that's very easy and what I'm going to do is gonna yeah just gonna uh, adjust the exposure I guess because that is too dark so what I'm going to do is going to the layer of uh, that sea under the sea and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint on that to create a shadow of the surfer on the top of the sea yeah I'm just gonna paint on that paint it carefully and uh, maybe a little rational just uh, just a paint on that so that you can have a realistic looking shadow it's gonna dig on I'm going to the sand underneath the water and I'm gonna paint on that because that is where the shadow of the board is is in yeah I think that is good that is pretty pretty cool and what I'm going to do is going to the lower layer I'm going to add a, another layer and then I'm gonna paint it uh, I want to call it some dust dust I don't know but the only but the only thing that matters is on wh what is below so I'm, I'm making some mess on the top but I'm going to erase it because what matters what matters is only uh, below the cube I'm just going to erase that those excess uh, those excess uh, sand effect I'm going to erase also so that it won't look like uh, it's a little it's a little dissolved dissolved uh, grains of sand uh, that's what I'm usually doing and uh, of course my very own way of uh, making shadows is gonna apply some shapes and you're gonna put those shapes underneath those cube and then yeah it's gonna make it a little longer make it a little higher and make some more adjustments just zoom it in so that you can have the accurate and most precise adjustments that you can have I'm just gonna press enter and then what we're going to do is going to delete it yeah we're going to delete that part uh, but first you're gonna rasterize it just click OK and then make it a hundred and make a softer brush yeah just a uh, paint on that and then make the opacity a little lower I think lower yeah I think that's good and gonna paint on that so that it looks like a good shadow effect on that on uh, on the reflected side of the of the micro world 
what I'm going to do let's gonna get some finishing touches again and then for the next part is I'm going to delete some some of those little parts as you can see uh, I think my mouse is not it's gonna be seen on the camcorder but uh, yeah I'm going to select some layers I'm going to merge it on the that it is on one side yeah I just merge that side I'm going to add a layer and I'm gonna paint on that uh, yeah just add a layer I'm gonna paint on that because I wanna apply some some uh, really cool shadows yeah just like that just gonna paint on that paint it gradually just a uh, gradual painting just gonna select these layers this is composed of the left edge I'm gonna merge all of this so that I can create a new layer again and I'm going to apply some shadows on that area yeah just make it more a little darker because uh, that side is uh, is uh, not being shone by the sun so what I'm going to do to do next is going to I yeah, just gonna have some finishing touches over there and over here and over there and uh, just gonna paint on on the side some some little bit of shadowing yeah I think that's uh, for for some little details those are little details but it matters much yeah shadowing man shadowing 101 and just going to go to shapes and create a big square make it a white and gonna put it on the lowest layer ever I'm going to double click on that and go to the gradient overlay just gonna direct your gradient into that angle and gonna select the black and I'm going to choose a blue one so that you would ad adopt the the color of the ocean a lighter blue one I think mm, no no I think that's good okay just press okay and, and gonna play with the opacity just gonna lower the opacity so that it will look like a realistic thing <laughs> yeah and I think that's very good I've got some seagulls over here it's already PNG PNG file and I'm going to flip it horizontally and gonna place it like its actual size of the seagull by the way seagulls are very big yeah I'm gonna place it over there and I'm going to make a duplication about just going to click control J and uh, yeah there you go so it looks like there it is really duplicated so what I'm going to is going to delete some of the birds yeah just gonna delete some of the birds so that it will look like it's the image is duplicated yeah you can see that's a just a just a small uh, adjustments on that yeah so what I'm going to do is gonna apply some text I'm gonna type on mm, grotto grotto yeah that's how the Google pronounce it just going to select the Evogria font and I'm going to adjust the kerning the T kerning and the another T kerning and I'm going to change the color into a dark gray I guess yep. I, I, yeah just gonna adjust the kerning again yeah grotto and uh, make it a little slow smaller I'm gonna apply a new text again I'm gonna type on Boracay I'm just gonna change the font and then th that is the font that I want and it's going to make it more closer skew it skew it down skew it up and there you go yeah I think that is a good one and then what I'm going to do is going to delete some part of it so that it looks like it's uh, it's passing through that uh, the into the leg of the of the R letter just gonna zoom it in make it more precise yeah just going to delete on that by applying some mask on the letter R yeah I think that is very very good I want to thank you guys for watching my video and I hope you like it I hope guys that you subscribe to the channel because it helps a lot thank you again I'm gonna see you next time peace